Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just want to touch base with you and talk to you about the current situation and how am I getting through it and I'm very interested to hear about how are you getting through it. I'm not saying the C word because YouTube seems to be canceling or deleting videos that I'm mentioning it. They probably have an algorithm that is trying to get rid of bad videos in that sense. There is a lot of fear in the media and in the world right now and for a good reason too. So a lot of people are understandably afraid, confused, overwhelmed and this uncertainty is very scary. And everything is scary. I'm scared too. But here's the thing. When things feel scary and out of control, the best place to start is inside of you. You cannot control what happens in the world, but you can always control how you respond to it. So first of all, wherever you are in the world, I hope you, your family and your loved ones are safe. I'm in Budapest, Hungary. I am prepared to stay inside for the next couple of weeks or as long as it is needed. I am determined to do whatever I can to help others in this terrible situation. I put together this video for three reasons. I wanted to address the situation and tell you about all the good things that are happening right now so we can have a mindset shift. I wanted to share things that I have found online that can help you or someone you know to get through this whole crisis. And lastly, I would like you to be strong and healthy so you can lead and help others. We all know we have to take practical measures. We hear it everywhere. I'm not going to repeat the usual things of stay home, only go out if it's absolutely necessary, wash your hands often and wait it out. We all know. Then what? So yes, the stress is all around us. And at times we feel like there is no end in sight. But we have to remember that if we simply just stop for a moment and we just need to close our eyes and breathe in and out and realize that peace starts within, then we can get through this. We can conquer our emotions and our panic and we can handle anything that life brings us. So right now is a good time to find time for yourself. Despite everything, I am, I am feeling quite calm in most days because I know that panicking won't help me. My mind in the beginning was very uncertain and I started panicking, but then I realized that I don't currently have all the answers to resolve what I'm facing, this invisible thing. But somehow everything will work out. I'm an optimist and I know somehow things are going to be better. I'm not doing stress. I haven't got time to stress or to worry or panic. I just can't afford to do it. I have things to do and people to help. And I know a lot of you, just like me, are inside at home. And you feel this whole social distancing thing is terrible. But with this, we have a chance for self-reflection and we can practice self-care. And we can reconsider our own values and priorities and our goals. And social distancing does not mean social isolation or being totally lonely. The social distancing that many of us are practicing right now doesn't have to feel isolating or stressful. This just has to be a necessary thing. And the more we can stay home and stay put, the faster we will move through this whole crisis. You still have to stay emotionally connected via social distancing. 
we have all this wonderful technology and they offer so many ways to stay connected with your family and friends and community. It's an amazing tool. I'm so happy that we live in this day and age where we have internet, we have YouTube, everything. And we are all in this together. This is another thing that we are being reminded that we are all interconnected. We need to work together to protect not just ourselves, but our loved ones and everyone else. We are all in this together. This is the time to come together and support each other. And we have to stay hopeful that we make this through. We have to transform this fear that we have into hope. This is a character changing experience. The whole world is being forced to grow right now. So just use what you have and do what you can. Use your strengths and skills and resources to help others during this time. A little act of kindness goes a long way. If you can, stay at home. If you can, offer to buy groceries for your neighbors who might be elderly or those who are more at risk. Invite people to talk and process their emotions with you on the phone, on Skype, on Zoom, wherever you can. I will be doing my best with my online platform. I'm going to be doing live streams. I'm going to be doing live workout videos so we can work out together, practice Taekwondo, doing stretches, and we can talk. I hope that you are going to join me. And I think... We truly need each other to help and we have to raise our vibration and our collective consciousness to turn this whole thing around. So let's use this opportunity to take more time each day to just focus and concentrate on ourselves and on others a little bit more. My heart goes out to all those people who lost someone during this crisis. And I wanted to be really thankful for all those people who are currently on the front lines fighting this crisis. This includes not only the medical professionals, but also the people working at the grocery store or the delivery store or at the restaurants preparing food for others or any type of people who are transferring items and stuff to the borders. You are all doing an amazing job. Whether you're quarantined at home or self-isolated by choice, I hope my words and videos could give you some guidance, peace, and hopefully some good energy to not only help you feel your best, but also to keep your mind, body, and soul healthy. I would like to share some ways we can support one another as we go through these uncertain times. My idea is that we all have a schedule. So you have to have a schedule when you wake up and what you do afterwards. You wake up, take a shower, have breakfast and start working if you have a home office job. You can also wake up and do a morning workout with you and then take a shower and have your breakfast. Then you can start working. That's what I'm doing. So I'm here and I'm going to go live as much as possible every morning so we can start the day together. Because we all know that stress lowers our immune system, which is the exact opposite that we need right now. You know, in this situation, we have to be staying physically active and getting regular workouts is very, very important. Working out keeps your immune system strong and your state of mind clear, calm and stress-free. You have a lot of time to work on yourself. So if you have a planner, try to schedule your day. Try to figure out what are the important things that you have to get done. And don't forget not to look at the news 24-7. It's not good for you. There's always going to be some breaking news. But the only breaking news we need right now is to know when the virus ends. So just look at the news once or twice a day. That's more than enough. I'm also trying to figure out what to do at home in order to help my neighbors as well. So if they need something, I can go and get it for them as they are older. I'm taking care of my parents as well 
because they are getting older as well and they need some help. I have my timetable and I try to organize every hour of the day so I know what I'm doing, when I'm waking up, when I'm going to bed, when I do the meditation and when I do the workouts and the live streams. I'm also going to organize my home so it's a much better and safer place to be. Meaning that I really want to get rid of some things that I no longer need and those are the areas where we tend to procrastinate with. So we just tend to not do it because we don't have the time. Well, if you have the time now, do it. Start into the decluttering process and I promise you it's going to get better. I have already started it. I'm going to make a video out of it. I just already feel so much lighter and more relieved. I have confidence that as long as we pull together, we will make it through. So the stronger we are in our mental, emotional, physical self-care, the more healthy we will stay in the long term. And if you're really feeling down, you can always watch some videos, get people to talk to you and try to lift your spirits. I know it's tough. <laughs> when I get really like, like anxious about some of these things, I just like to watch uh, some memes that are coming out of the situation. Not all of them are funny, but the, some of them are really, really funny. So I like to watch those, like, especially the toilet paper ones. Like, we don't need that much toilet paper, uh, but never mind. <laughs> so I just wanted to check in with you, and I hope that you're doing well. I think about you, and please let me know in the comment below, where are you staying right now? How are you doing and what's going on where you live and how are you going to get through this? Let's spread positivity and positive thoughts. Stay healthy, take care of yourself and let's stay strong together. We can do this.